That's our new leaders right there. Big Stewie! University of Montevallo, 24-96. National champions, Wallace State, Briar and Clinton. What's up, everybody? Welcome into this new episode of the Rapala We Are Collegiate Bass podcast. Putting it out a little earlier in the week this week because we're traveling to our first event for 2023 the Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing taking place this weekend at Pickwick Lake in Florence, Alabama. Joining us today, Bryce Kistler, Tyler Finley, and Carter Nutt from there in Florence at the University of North Alabama. They're ranked ninth in the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Bryce, real quick, man, first question, easy one. How cool is it having a big major tournament like this, Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series, featuring over 230 of the best teams that's what we've got registered right now to compete. Coming to Florence, there at Pickwick, y'all's home waters. Pretty awesome to, to have this spotlight set on y'all's lake and town. Oh, yeah, man, it's uh, it's awesome. It's It really puts pressure on us, you know. We feel like we got to do good with the points race and everything. Uh you know, it's, it's a tough lake right now. There's always some big ones to be caught, but, you know, hopefully you and they can show out and we can show out. Uh, it's our home lake. I'm excited to have one here. You know, we've been traveling a lot, and uh, it's just nice to stay home and fish your home lake, but it's also kind of nerve-wracking because, you know, you always get those jitters of home lake. I got to do good, and, you know, happens sometimes where you don't catch them. And it's like, wow, I mean, should have caught them, man. But, you know, that's how it is. Yeah, UNA had a run there in the late 2015 to 2020 range where pretty sure they capped off a Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia, if not two, um, right there in Florence. Won a couple Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championships presented by Bass Pro Shop. So a lot of history for the team on that fishery, a lot of history for the Association of Collegiate Anglers at Pickwick Lake in Florence, Alabama. The last time we were there during this time of the year, 2021 we've got a feature up on our website collegiatebasschampionship.com along with a video over on our youtube page highlighting this upcoming event and taking a look back at what took place last time that we were there took over 45 pounds of smallmouth to win it tyler talk a little bit about how the fishery is setting up i believe that it's going to be slightly different than 2021 back in 21 we had high water a lot of water moving through the system not really the case this time pretty steady calm stable conditions out there on the lake talk a little bit about what you know and you see is the lake setting up at this time of the year a little later as well than we were there last time well you know with this lake for being right here so close to campus you know we can be down here just the afternoon after class uh we've been coming down here a pretty good bit I and mean, it just it changes every day and it seems to be getting tougher this week i feel like fish are finally moving out of their shallow places uh they're moving out deep it's just kind of Oh, and us a little loop, trying to make us figure out how to fish a little bit deeper than we have been fishing here recently. Um, you know, the dam is not flowing any water right now compared to what it usually does. I think that's affecting a lot of smallmouth up the river, making them tougher to fish as well. So we're trying to, uh, me and my partner are trying to focus more on down the lake, catching largemouth, versus trying to stay up here at the dam. Yeah, as we wrote about in that article, it, it's kind of a tricky time of the year. You see it, and even now, looking at the weather forecast, it's going to be a little funky. You've got warming trend for a couple days, and then when we come to town, a little bit of colder weather. Some rain might s sneak in, and temperatures are going to drop maybe 15, 20 degrees with some nightly lows before we get out of town, maybe even being in the upper 30s. So it may feel cooler outside but in the water, it may not change just a ton. These fish are either committed to spawning or possibly coming off of beds. You may have a really late wave getting ready to push up. But it's going to spread these fish out. It's going to put them in pretty accessible areas, though, one would think, as opposed to in the summer where they're really concentrated in specific deep spots when we come for the championship, per se. Right now, there's probably different parts of the lake, but lots of areas inside of those sections where these fish are going to be set up. Carter, how are you going to approach practice going out there knowing that this vast fishery of Pickwick Lake, even Wilson Lake being in play as well to lock up, there's all kinds of shoreline cover, different places for these fish to spread out, and you've got to go try to find them. You know, we're really going to look at everything. Uh, the water just is finally starting to reach summer pool, and uh, that is exposing a lot of the shoreline cover that, you know, wasn't in the water. A lot of it's now in the wa water, and uh, the fish – 
hopefully we'll be moving up sometime soon. Uh, there's a lot of fish are really very spread out. It it seems like, you know, you're catching some pre-spawners, some post-spawners. You know, you're catching some in the backs of creeks and some, uh, you know, out of grass or some up at the dam. Uh, you know, we're really going to try and do everything. Bryce, talk a little bit about how, you, you know, coming out of practice is going to dictate a lot, but when you get into the tournament mode, are you going to try and find an area that you know has them and stay locked in, or as Carter just mentioned, is it going to be run all over the lake, run what you know until you come across the five right ones? And uh, what I'm really going, really going to try to do is, uh, you know, fish the conditions. You know, like you said, we got the warming trend this week, and then we got a cloudy, rainy day, a tournament day. Um, you know, those days usually they make the fish bite. So I really got to find out where the fish should be, you know, where they're going to be. It depends on water levels, water temperature, you know. It's going to be really hard to see fish up shallow or, you know, if you're sight fishing with cloudy days. And it's kind of, you got to think about that. Whenever you're looking for those fish, you, you know, you can't be, you won't be able to see them if, it, if it's windy or, you know, cloudy. So I've been thinking about that a lot. Um, something that's going through my head or like, you know, are these fish going like where are they moving after you know they go shallow or they go deep I mean, yeah, the fish are scattered everywhere right now just, i'm just trying to find a group of fish where i know well, you know are gonna stay there for tournament day i'll be i'm confident enough to catch them sitting at 230 boats thereabouts registered at the moment as we lead up to the pickwick slam presented by evolution fishing tyler tell me a little bit about what that says about the fishery of Pickwick Lake, another major college event going on this weekend. We're going to have about 230 registered, like we said, for the Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing. People are wanting to come fish Pickwick right now, whether it's in May, whether it's in the spring when we come in April like this. Big time fishery, lots of different places to spread out. Wilson Lake's in play as well. Talk a little bit about what you know. You guys are familiar with it. You know what the lake's capable of. It might even be a reason why you're in school in Florence. But for people that want to come across from across the country to compete in this major collegiate event, fielding over 200 boats, like we said, what talk a little bit about how that makes you feel and the pride you have in Florence, Alabama, and the fisheries of Pickwick and Wilson Lakes. Yeah, Pickwick Lake itself is really hard hard like to beat. As we have grass, we have current. Um, we have offshore stuff. We have really shallow stuff. It's really a diverse fishery. Um, anybody can basically come from all over the country here, and I feel like they can find something that they like and be able to break down. And, you know, you all putting on the tournament, you are a nationally known brand that brings in people as well. Um, so everybody wants to come fish an ACA tournament, and then you put it in Florence as well. So everybody loves the town of Florence. Everybody just gets to get out for a week and fish Pickwick and hopefully catch a few bass. You bet. We're looking forward to it, hoping to catch a lot of fish over those two days of competition, Saturday and Sunday, taking out of McFarland Park, fishing that Pickwick Lake in Florence, Alabama. Carter, man, we'll give you the hardest question yet. Tell me, what do you think it's going to take to win? As I mentioned last time we were there in April, two years ago, smallmouth were in play. The team from Montevallo of James and Chance had like a four-pound average, four better than four-pound average for their 10 fish. They weighed in over two days to win with 45 pounds and change. Is it going to take that much? Is it going to take more or maybe a little less? Give me an idea of what you think for two days of competition, what you're going to have to have to be able to compete and win. You know, I think in order to win, you're going to have to have 41 or 42 pounds. I really don't think it's going to take a super big weight like how it did last year. You know, it's a little bit later. The smallmouth are not quite biting like they were. Uh, there's still going to be people catching uh, fish under the dams, but – it's, it's not quite how it was last year. We're talking with Bryce Kistler, Tyler Finley, and Carter Nutt, representatives of Ninth Ranked University of North Alabama, located right there in Florence, the host city for the Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing. This event right here going to be a big player towards the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. North Alabama, no stranger to winning this title. They've done it twice in the last couple years. Big time program in UNA big time program is going to be competing here in Florence this event's going to be a key player as it's the last major ACA double points event before the year end triple points tournament the boat US collegiate bass fishing championship presented by bass pro shops at Lake Hartwell Bryce we are talking to you guys schedule this weekend bass masters got an event up in Virginia we're going to be in Florence you guys are sending 11 teams to the slam and about five boats up to Virginia to compete 
a lot of points on the line. How important is this weekend for UNA and any of the teams that want to be able to compete to finish the year ranked in the top 25, top 10, top 5, and maybe even number 1? I mean, it's, it's really important for UNA. You know, the Pickwick Slam's always been really good to us, and I know that we can get really, really good points from this tournament. I feel like this is kind of like in our roundhouse and maybe we can salvage some really good points of this tournament, you know, even move up a couple places. And, and you know, I'm excited to see the outcome. Um, just get ready to fish. Tyler, next question coming your way. As Bryce mentioned, you and A looking to take advantage of this being in your backyard. What are you going to call a success in particular uh, as it pertains to the Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing? What what does UNA want to see? What's the goal entering the tournament? Two teams inside the top 50, two inside the top 10, get a victory and another high finish because you want to maximize those double points. There's not a lot of those on the schedule, and it can really shift things into your favor immediately. Two good days of fishing can rocket you up the standings as there's a potential to earn well over 2,000 points with two good finishes. What do you want, what does UNA as a team want to see coming out of this weekend at Pickwick in regards to top finishes and valuable points? Well, as UNA as a team, I think we would like to see uh, first and second place even, being right here on our home pond. But um, realistically, I'd like to have two boats in the top 10 at least. And you take the two boats, it's double points, qual- uh, double points. I think that can really boost us up in the school year race. We've seen that once before. It happened last year at Barnett Reservoir, Montevallo. Two teams finished first and second in my time involved with the ACA. That's the first time I've ever seen that happen. We love to see it again. It creates a lot of buzz. It's awesome to see anybody come out and do a good job, any of these schools coming from across the country, doing well on a national level, and to create a lot of buzz around these events, awesome as well. And the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia does just that. Is That's why a lot of these teams are registered. Going to have an update to the standings later this week. We'll have an article out. We'll highlight how many teams inside the top 25 are set to compete at Pickwick Lake for the Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing. Carter, last question. We asked you what you thought it was going to take to win the event. Let's talk about how you would like to see your team finish the season. We're winding down here just over a month left before it comes to a close at Lake Hartwell, and we have the final standings for the year for the 22-23 Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Where would you like to see UNA finish? Right now you're sitting in ninth. You have won the title before. You finished inside the top ten and top five multiple other times. When everything's said and done, and this season concludes, what would you like to see, best case scenario, where's UNA finish in the standings? You know, I would love to see UNA win, but it's we're really going to have to make some magic happen for that. Uh, but more realistically, I think I really would love to see us in the top five uh, by the end of the year. Definitely doable for sure. Like I said, check collegiatebasschampionship.com and our social media will have an updated rankings for the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia leading up to the Pickwick Slam presented by Evolution Fishing this weekend. 230 boats registered and counting. We're looking forward to it. Over 400 of college fishing's best anglers are going to be on site there in Florence. Be sure to get to our website. Find out all the information you need to know about the event. Look through the rules. We're going to have the meeting there on Friday, the angler packet on our website. We'll have a schedule of events and other information. Live weigh-in both days streaming on Outdoor Action TV. Be sure to download that app let your family friends and everyone know where to go watch you cross the stage and weigh in big bass here on the bass pro shops collegiate bass fishing series bryce tyler carter guys thanks for joining us here today on the rapid we are collegiate bass podcast we'll see you in florence in a few days and best of luck at the tournament thank you yes sir thank you sir Fishing is all about connecting with nature. Then grabbing nature by the lip and holding it up for a picture. If you want to be here, it all starts here. At Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, we have the widest selection of the quality brands you love to get you outdoors. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out, our friendly, knowledgeable outfitters will help you find the right products for your next trip. 
Shop with confidence with our low price guarantee. Plus, club members save even more on great gear with exclusive member pricing. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, voted America's best outdoor retailer.